In this video I'm going to show you how to use the auxiliary positioning function on your ATSA machine. So basically it's that cross here that you see when you, when you turn on your machine. So the first thing you want to do is get your touch screen and click on the setting option and just scroll through until you, you see auxiliary positioning and turn that on. So now you can just go OK when you see that pop up. And then you want to click on the word itself. You see there's a little arrow next to it. So click on there and you'll see mark current position show up on the screen. So what you want to do is grab a piece of scrap piece of wood, just put it under the laser head like that. And now when on your touch screen, just click on mark current position and you'll see it actually engraves a crosshair on the screen there. So what you want to do, you can see it a little bit better there. But what you want to do is on your touch screen you'll see these little arrows appear and you just want to nudge the laser head across by clicking on these. You can see the laser head moving in the background as I press there and moving it across. And now I'm going to move it down as well. So I'll click on the down arrow to do that and you'll see that show up there. So once it's over the top of it perfectly like that we're ready to go. Now bear in mind, so you, now you need to click confirm, but bear in mind you only have to do this once. This is a once off process, right? So once it's done, it's done. And then what you want to do is you want to go over back to Lightburn or open up Lightburn and then you want to click on console. Now if you don't see console showing there, come up to window and you'll select it from the drop down there. So once you've got that tab open, you'll see all these macro options appear. So just all you need to do is right click on the first one. So I've got macro zero there. I'm just right clicking with my mouse and it opens up a box and then you just change the button label. So I'm going to change this and in, in right type in auxiliary positioning, but you really you can type in whatever you like, but this is what they tell you to type in in the manual. So we do that and then in the macro contents, you want to put a bracket and then type ESP501 and then close the bracket. I'm going to put the wrong one there in, so I'll just put the right one there. Okay, so I'm just going to click OK and that's set and you can see it show up there now. We've got auxiliary positioning as a, as a macro option there. Now grab your piece of um, material that you want to engrave on and you can see what I've done is I've put a cross here on there to find the center of it. Now you don't have to do that. You could eyeball it, we could just put a dot, but I just wanted to make it um, clear so you could see what we're doing next. So I'm going to be engraving on this coaster. So I'm just going to place it now. Now see what I'm doing there? You just line up the crosshair that I've drawn with the crosshair on the machine itself. And then back in Lightburn, I'm going to click on Move. I'm going to click on Clear Origin just to clear things and then Set Origin because what I want to do now is frame. So Set Origin and I'm going into Console. I'm clicking on Auxiliary Positioning. And what happens when you click on that, over on the machine you'll see the laser head move over into the centre of the coaster there. And then I'm going to click on frame. And then it'll frame it. And go back into the centre. And then all I really need to do now is click on start. Back in Lightburn here. And just clicking yes there and away it goes. The machine will now start engraving. Okay, so that's how you do that. You can see it's worked out really well and sent it up beautifully. So thank you for watching and I hope for, hopefully that was helpful to you. And if it was, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials like this.